What is up everybody and welcome back to Binding of Isaac A Week in Hell. So last episode we played with Isaac and this time we're going to be playing Samson. And we're going to see how far we can get. It's just my first run with each character and just kind of see how we can do. Alright, so, oh we got Curse of the Labyrinth in the beginning. That really sucks. Samson starts out with Bloodlust, which means that the more we kill in a room, the more powerful we get. But we start out with only one health and one, uh, you know, soul heart. So that kind of stinks, but we do have a pretty nice uh, ability, a nice passive ability to start out with. Um, we are now on a labyrinth floor for the first floor, which really sucks. Uh, so that fuses both of this level's floors together and gives us two different item rooms, two boss rooms. We had one last episode, but it sucks because it's on the first floor, right? And it immediately makes it so you need uh, keys to get into your item rooms, which means that we don't get that free item room like we normally would with uh, with the, the normal first floor. So as you can see, we're kind of getting a little redder, a little more red with each enemy we kill, and that is our damage going up because uh, of our bloodlust. And that's why I usually, as Samson, I always go into these kind of arena rooms because there we go. Now we have the red red uh, tiers. I always go into these rooms because there's just so many enemies that by the end of it, you're pretty much you're pretty much uh, really just kind of really strong. But like I said, um, this is only for the room that you're in, so Bloodlust will stop directly after you leave. And we got Intestine, or Umbilical Cord. I always think it's an Intestine, that's what it looks like. Umbilical Cord, uh, I think that's like if we get hit, like to, or maybe if we're like down to half a heart, it spawns something, I think. Maybe like a heart, I don't remember exactly. It's not that good. Not really a, a good trinket. We're going to want to switch it, that out uh, for something else when we find something else. But what I'd really like to get is some keys right now. There we go, just as I said it. Alright, nice. Now we can actually get into at least one of the item rooms. I'd like to get the other key, and then maybe a bomb to open up that chest over there to get that, you know, get this key, open up that chest. But first, let's see what our first item is. We got Mom's Lipstick, which ups our range. So I'll take that, because, you know, you just want to get those little, those little upgrades go, go a, long, a long ways when you pair them up with some better upgrades. So I'll take it. I, know, I mean, I can't change it. We don't have the D6 anymore, so I kind of just have to take it. Okay, let's kill the poop, because the poop will drop items like that, 5% of it, 5% of the time. Alright, take out that guy in the middle. And now we have a second item room, which we need to need another key for. Uh, and doesn't actually look like we have that many more floors, or that many more rooms on this floor, which kind of sucks. But maybe the, maybe the boss will drop something that'll allow us to get the, through the door. I mean, it really just kind of sucks a lot when you get Labyrinth on the first time. Because usually you're not you're not ready for it. Oh wow, <laughs> never mind. Usually you don't have the keys. I'm just getting extremely lucky. Uh, okay, we got the miner's hat. Nice. This uh, yes, yeah, bunker hat. This will let us see um, all the secret rooms, right? But there's something there's something to di a little different with the uh, X-ray glasses from last time, from last episode, last night. Uh, we could see the secret rooms and also it opened up the door for us. Here it doesn't actually open up the door, but it does show us where they are. Which is kind of cool. Let's go and just kind of maybe see if we can see where the other, the normal secret room is. Okay, it's going to be in one of the places we haven't explored yet. So now I'm kind of debating whether or not I want to, if I was to get a bomb right now, whether or not I'd want to open up that chest or open up the super secret room. It's really, it can go either way, to be honest. Alright, and there's the normal secret room to our, to the south of us. So that's good. Okay. Blow up these guys. Oh no, they dropped bombs. I could have somehow used that to get through. That would have been really difficult to do, but I probably could have if I'd spent enough time on that room. Ah! Die! Okay. Oh, these guys in the center, usually if you just run around them, usually if you run around any, any, uh, what am I saying, any enemy, that's usually the good, a good strategy to kill them. And these guys are nothing. You just, there we go. Okay. Yeah, you might see some, like, repeat in rooms, because, uh, you know, everything is random, but they, aha, a bomb. But they will repeat rooms every once in a while. Okay, so like I said, big decision here. I think we go with the super secret room. Because that we don't have any items or anything. We'll probably get something really nice out of that. Like, out of the normal, out of the golden chest, we might just get, like, you know, some, like, some bombs, maybe. I don't know. Ah, oh, it's the heart room. That's the one thing I was not wanting. So, yeah, the super, super secret room can sometimes spawn the bunch of hearts. But we're not really using those. If there was a blood donation machine somewhere on this floor, that'd be nice. But then again, we'd have to blow up our way through the door each time. I don't know. If we get another bomb, I'll use it on the, uh... I'll use it on the, um, chest. 
Alright, I'm just gonna blow these up because, I don't know, they might give us a little bit of money. Douse the flames with my tears. Like some epic guy who's in battle with tears. And what? Alright, two more. Really nothing at all? Come on! Oh, don't be like that, fire room. Alright. To the boss! I'm assuming the boss is to the left. I'm actually gonna go, go down. Just, yeah, hey look, another chest. We can't get to it because we don't have bombs! Can really use some bombs. Keys and bombs. Yeah, Labyrinth sucks. I hate it. I hate Labyrinth. Less secret rooms. Less everything. We do have a key, though. That's pretty nice. We don't have a bomb, though. Oh, I'm gonna need two bombs. <coughs> two bombs to get through that chest. Voice crack. I'm gonna need two bombs to get through that chest. Uh, if I want to get it. I just realized that. Um, one for the key. Actually, we do have now a key. <coughs> so maybe we, we don't need it. I don't know. We could go into the normal secret room, too. Ah! Just taunting me. Okay. Hey, we just saw this room. Look at that. Alright, there we go. Just one at a time. Trying to get hit. I don't think... Oh, yeah, we've got... What did we get hit by? I don't remember what hit us. Oh, another bomb! Okay, before we go into there... What do I want to use it on? I kind of want to save my... Oh, look, there's a... Hold on, there's a blue rock. Let's use it on that. That's probably the best thing we can do. Yeah, we got the rock! Cool, so this sometimes blows up uh, from a small from a rock gives a small rock up damage <coughs> which is really nice <coughs> man I don't know why my, my throat's so dry hold on <coughs> okay all right so we got the small rock <coughs> we got bloodless so bloodless is really good against bosses except for this guy usually against well actually no this one's gonna spawn some flies usually it's good against bosses because it uh it powers up you know oh crap I just got hit it powers up on whenever you hit an enemy and normally bosses like to spawn a ton of enemies, so you can usually get max damage on a lot of these bosses and then really just kind of kill them. Uh, some of the bosses that don't spawn enemies are like Larry, um, or no, not Larry, Pin. Pin doesn't spawn bosses, and like Isaac doesn't really spawn bosses or spawn monsters until until like the end, spawn enemies until like kind of the end of his uh, of his boss fight. All right, we got Mom's purse. Let's take it. Let's use up some pills. Hopefully they're good. Please be good. Yeah, balls of steel! You get two uh, soul hearts. And bad gas, that's okay. Bad gas will poison an, a, uh, an enemy. We'll use balls of steel again. Oh, come on, please be good. Friends until the end, alright. All those were positive. I'll take them. We got lots of- Oh, crap, alright, so we're facing Gish. I think this is Gish. No, 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 this isn't Gish. This is, uh... Bruh, I don't remember this guy's name. Little Stevie, I think his name is. I skipped the- I always skip the, the introductions. I don't know why. Anyway, yeah, this guy, uh... He is a harder version of a original boss. He's not as he's not like you know he's his programming is very similar to original boss, uh, and he's also actually one of I believe he's a character in one of the maker's other games, which is pretty cool. All right, so yeah, and he always drops this. Steven, oh his name's Steven. I, there's there's so there's little there's brother Bobby. There's there's Bobby. There's Gish and there's Steven. It's, it's hard to keep track of all of them, but anyway. Uh, yeah, now he's kind of on my head. Uh, I don't know what he does. What does Steven do? Does he up my damage or something? I don't know. Probably do something good. And we got the Devil Room! Uh, we don't have any money to really, you know, or not money. We don't have any health to really use these, and these are kind of some crappy Devil Room items anyway. We don't need it. Alright, so let's jump down. What does little Steven do? I don't remember. I'm not gonna go check, because, I mean, it's just a passive power-up, whatever. It's not anything... Oh, crap. <laughs> it's not anything to worry about. That was the wrong place to stand. Okay, let's take care of these guys. And I think it may it might just up our damage because we're shooting red we're shooting red tears now. Uh, without even having to kill anything, so that's pretty good. Ah! All these blood flies taking a lot of hits though. Jeez. I'm... Die. Die. <laughs> I hate these Ow, come on! I'm losing all my balls of steel. It's okay. Hopefully we get another a good item room. The items we had weren't that good. They weren't anything terrible, but I would like to get a space item, and I'd like to get a new trinket. That would be good. Maybe something like really just OP, you know? Some like, Mom's Knife would be amazing, but that's not gonna ever happen. Ah, come on! Mom's Knife is a pretty much like the game-winning item. Uh, you pretty much get it only from the Devil Room, and uh, you like charge it up, you just stab people with it, and it just does so much damage, it's stupid. And if you pair it up with, like, some other items, it's just, it's amazing. That or, uh, Brimstone. That's what I, you know, if you get, if you get Brimstone or Mom's Knife, usually those are some of the really good items that you can find. 
Alright, yeah, our damage is really high. That's nice. Some good, some good damage. Even though, like, Samson's the one character you usually don't want to get damage ups with. But we got The Rock and we got Steven. We usually don't want damage ups with this guy because his blood loss will usually just do that for you. So I actually, ah, I actually would have rather had anything else. Like, speed up, range up, anything else. Whatever. Oh, we got Explodey Flies. But there's not any secret rooms because we know about all the secret rooms. So we won't try to tactically kill them. I usually would. I usually would try to kill them near the top of the bottom of this room to try to open up a, uh, a door, but it doesn't matter. Okay, alright, I'll take it. We got Bob's Curse, five poison bombs, whatever. Yeah, like I said, I mean, there's nothing I can really do right now because, uh, we don't have the, ah, we don't have the D6, so you just gotta take what we get. You can't always get what you want, but sometimes, if you try, you get what you need. Okay, <laughs> let's kill out these guys. Ah, uh, should we go into the... I don't think we should go into the to the shop. If we had 15 coins, I would to see what the 15 coin item is. But we don't, so I'm gonna skip it. Let's go over to the right just to see what else we can get. Yeah, I could really use a space item. I'm not getting any of those, which kind of stinks. Aha, the super secret room. Oh yeah, oh yeah, forgot the uh, Bob's Curse gives us five bombs. I totally forgot about that. So that's actually really useful. Let's go into the secret rooms. Go into this one, then the uh, super or not the the normal secret and the super secret. All right. Bomb here. Hooray. What do we got? Aha! Slot machine. Cool. Oh, you guys should be able to actually hear the, uh, the audio this time, too. I made sure it'll record the audio. That's good. Oh, we got the fool, too, so that'll give us a free... Eh, I'm gonna keep the fool. Give us free access to the shop. Oh, no, 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 never mind. Wait, wait. No, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of a different card. The fool sends you back to the first, the beginning room. Never mind. Alright. Let's just leave. Let us leave. Oh, these guys. See, these guys usually don't spawn until, like, later on, but whatever. Fine. We have, we're doing so much damage, it doesn't really matter. Oh, so, the Miner's Hat is telling us that there is a, a mini-boss. A <clears throat> sin. We got Wrath. Okay. This guy is, this guy plays like Bomberman, which is really kind of funny. He shoots bombs at you, but usually you can just, like, shoot them back at him with your tears. And they'll blow him up. I'm not doing a perfectly good, oh, perfectly good job at doing that right now, but that's normally the best strategy is to hit his bombs back at him. But he will also just kind of try to charge you like this. The jerk. Get out of here. I don't know if anybody actually plays Bomberman with him. I usually don't. It's just a waste of bombs. Die. Okay, cool. Bombs. Hooray. Who knew? All right, so let's go into the normal room, the normal secret room, and then we will leave. We'll go to the boss. I, we are not getting any health ups either. It's not that good. Alright. There we go. It's okay, hey, if we die soon, we die soon. Maybe I can... Maybe I'll get lard. Lard would be great. Lard gives you two health containers, which is really nice. Alright, to the boss! Okay. So, um... Just trying to think of other things, like... Yeah, it's really kind of crap how we're getting the damage ups. Their small rock wasn't bad, but I would have had I would have rather had like anything else besides Steven. All right, and this guy is not gonna spawn anything that we can kill. His eyes are gonna come out, but we can't kill those eyes, so we're kind of stuck on this damage level, which isn't bad. We have a high damage level already, but we can't use the bloodlust with this dude. Ah, he shoots so many of these those things. I, this is actually one boss that I'm really just bad at. I'll just come out and say that I'm just bad at fighting this boss. He's just, uh, well, I mean, his, uh, his harder versions, oh, his harder versions especially, but for some reason I always just struggle with these guys. Because you have to worry about the eyes, you have to worry about his, his little stomps, you have to worry about, he has so many attacks. He, like, spreads the ground with stuff that damages you. Yes, we got tears and health. Nice. Okay. I think it gives us more damage. We don't need more damage. God. We're getting all damage stuff. What's our damage? Our damage is max. Okay, whatever. All right, item room. Oh my god, we got Polythemus! Should we take it? All right, here's a really hard decision. This item alone isn't that good. Especially if we don't have a good fire rate, and our fire rate's kind of crap. But, if we get this item with Mom's Knife or with Brimstone, we win, like, no matter what. Like, I mean, I can, I can go on one heart and win the game with those. So I'm gonna take it. All right, so this <laughs> makes us a Cyclops. We do ton of damage, but we only shoot one 
tier at a time, but it's like a death tier. Yeah, it like one hit stuff, and I just got hit like that. That's great. Um, it, like one hits things, and if we can get brimstone or mom's knife, we are gonna win. Uh, but before that, yeah, this is not really that good of an item, to be honest. I should have probably left it. Oh yeah, it has piercing, by the way, so if it kills something and it still has a little bit of damage left, it'll go and hit the next enemy in its path, which is pretty nice. Like that, you see that? It kind of just keeps going, which is pretty sweet. Oop. Alright, let's kill these guys, these jokers. Ah, oh, if we can get Mom's Knife or Brimstone. I swear, I swear to you, I shall destroy everything. Um, those are, those are only in the devil rooms, though, so we're going to have to probably get a devil room going. It's gonna be a little difficult. Uh, we do have we do have one of these guys, these little devil uh, worship guys, <laughs> the, the the beggars. They beg for health. Um, I believe if you use them, it's a better chance of getting a devil room. So we may want to think about that. If we can find some, I think they take red hearts. If we can find some red hearts, we'll do that. Use my piercing abilities. See, it's like I don't know if you if you're versing something that's charging you. It sucks. The police from this sucks. If something's just like coming right at you, but if you're reversing something that's kind of just sitting there, it's not really that bad. Especially with the pierce. Like that. I just, I really just can't wait. If we, I just want to show you guys. I've never, I've never have ever gotten mom's knife slash brimstone with the police from this. My god, it's cheap as hell. Okay. Let's grab all this. Take out the fires. Wow, fires take two hits. Jeez. And this is another huge damage item. I mean, we're <laughs> we're only getting damage stuff. It's crazy. This is insane. We've been only getting damage equipment, damage power ups, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I'll play with it. All right, we got another sin to our left. How about we go and check out that? What do we got? Envy. This guy splits, which is actually good. We ha we have a, a piercing a piercing tier, so it's not that bad. Ah, I I really hate this one though. Just because, like, if you don't do it right, you can get a ton of these little ones. Or, there's some rooms that are super envy, and it's two of these things. Ah, oh, that's like the most annoying thing. There's just enemies flying all the way around you. Alright. It's pretty easy. Like, when you, whenever you face anything that splits, you want to always focus on one side. Aha! Yes, cancer! This is great! Alright, is this gonna... I guess it upped our... Yeah, it actually did. It upped our, upped our tier rate, so that's nice. Because we need that. With Polyphemus, make your tier rate go to, like, nothing. But now we have a nice tier rate. Kind of. <laughs> Whatever you can call is nice. And we found the super secret room. Okay, let's blow that up. I think I might actually go to the shop, too. When we head towards the boss. More hearts! Alright, so that would be good if we wanted to go donate to the to the blood demon thing. But I think we're going to wait on that. I, don't, I mean, because we're going to have to use another bomb to get into the heart room. Ah! Ah! Run away! Okay. Oh, so these guys are getting one hit. That's good. Come on. Come on. There we go. And he dropped a bomb. Thank you. Watch out for the spikes. Okay, so yeah, let's go back. Uh, we'll go and use the shop. And then we'll jump into the boss fight. Hopefully, devil room. Hopefully. That'd be nice. Or something that gives me some soul hearts, because I'm running out of soul hearts, too. Which isn't good. <laughs> Samson is very, you know, low health. I'd say, I mean, like, there's a few low health characters. There's, like, Samson and Judas are really low health. And, uh, I'd say Samson is not as good as Judas. I think I've had some much better runs with Judas. Alright, so we got the battery, which... The battery lets us recharge our space items faster, which we don't have one. But I'm gonna grab it anyway for later. I know it'll come in handy later. And we got the soul heart, so let's get out of here. If we get some more money, we'll go and get that pill. I don't remember what that pill is. I think we've... Have we got that pill yet? Not exactly sure. All right, we got pestilence. So this guy just spawns out bombs, and then his head—he loses his head. Uh, his head after a little while, ow, like that. And now he's pretty easy actually after he loses his head. Before he's a little difficult because he spawns in stuff, and now he doesn't spawn in anything, and now he's dead. Look at that. Before I can even explain how the boss works, he's dead. Okay, there we go. And Cuba meat. So uh, this game was made by the guys from Super Meat Boy. Uh, at least like one of the two of them. And, um, I don't know if it was both of them. I know it was one of them. Uh, so yeah, if you get enough cubes of meat, it'll actually spawn a Super Meat Boy. But right now, this will, uh, protect us. So if a, a tier is going for us, or an attack is going for us, that will protect us. If we get, um, four of those cubes of meat, it'll spawn a Super Meat Boy. And we're getting the lag. The 
the loading screen lag. That's okay. Uh, yeah, the first one just protects you, just kind of floats around. Curse of the Labyrinth, that sucks. Two of them, really? Two Curse of the Labyrinths, and I have the Miner's Hat, too, to show me where the secret rooms are, and I can't even... <sighs> I'm only gonna get one secret room again. And I don't want that. I don't want that at all. God dang it. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, two cubes of meat, um, makes it so this, the, this will be Super Meat Boy's head, and he'll actually shoot, uh, enemies for you. He's, like, kind of like a familiar. Uh, three of them, it actually spawns a real Super Meat Boy, or a Meat Boy, not a Super Meat Boy, and he'll run around and do damage to, uh, enemies. And then by the fourth one, you get a Super Meat Boy, which is just, he runs around, does, like, an immense amount of damage to enemies, and he's really very powerful. That, that's four cubes of meat, which is crazy. That's four items you're gonna be using. Ow! Ah! Ah! I really think I'm way too low health right now. Which kind of stinks a lot. Ugh! And I cannot... Uh, two Cursed Labyrinths as well. It's really... This is not a good run. This is not a good run. I, I mean, it can change any moment. If I was to get... If I was to get Mom's Knife out of nowhere, everything would change. If I was to get Brimstone out of nowhere, everything would change. But right now, it's a really kind of crap run. That's okay. That's what we're all about. That's what you do. You get some good runs, some bad runs. Oh, come on! I hate these flies. I can one-hit them if I can just hit them. There we go. Ah! Ah! Go away! Go away! Okay. There we go. One-hit that guy. God, I hate- I hate point them as- Oh my god! I'm without hearts. Let me go get that red heart over here. Ah! Yeah, this one's this one's pretty hard. The curse of the labyrinths are not helping either at all. They really aren't. Okay. Oh, whoa. We're good. We're good. Should I use the shop? I think I'm gonna save the shop. Yeah, we're gonna save it for later if we if we actually get enough money to buy anything. Oh my god. I'm getting some hard rooms too. Cause I'm not in the depths. I'm in Necropolis, which is really difficult. All right, we got nickel. Hooray. Still not that good. I could use an item room right now. Really could. Item room would be grand. Okay. Key. It's not an item room. Neither is this. Neither is this. Oh god. Oh boy. Flies everywhere. If I had, uh, the... Oh. If you go to the arcade... Oh my god, we're at one heart. Alright, hold on. We're at half a heart. Can't talk. Mother... Mother of god. Look how big our our bullets are, though. Our, our tears are giant. <sighs> okay, so we need to go grab that heart over here. Uh, yeah, you can get a, an item that makes it so flies just don't attack you, which is pretty nice. You have to play the arcade games, though. I'm gonna go in here, see what we can get. Soul Heart! Thank you, God! We are hanging on by thread. Um, and we don't have we don't have a really good item, either. We have nothing that protects us. I, I, like for anything too. Oh, okay, we have the meat boy, but that's not that good. I'd rather have something that lets us fly. That's usually some good protection, letting us fly. Oh, he just ran right into that. That's funny. Headstrong, run right into it. Okay, hold on, we gotta trick these guys out. Ah, run. <laughs> I hate I hate Necropolis because there's so many so many things that you can't kill that will try to kill you, like those heads that just shoot at you and those spike squares. Oh, and this, look at this, what is this crap? Oh crap, oh god. We're good, we're good. Come on, take out the spider ones. See, I one hit stuff, my, it's just my fire rate's so low. Okay, we're at full health, full, <laughs> full health, we're at full health, which isn't saying much. Oh, not anymore. Uh, yeah, two hearts. Like, what is this, a double, double of these guys? Okay, they do a full heart of damage, too. That's not even fair. That's not even fair. Oh, there's one. And, oh god, come on, take him out! God, take him out! Take him out, please! Alright, we're fine. We're not doing good at all. We have one heart left. Just gotta take these guys out quick. Oh god, oh boy. We're fine, ooh. Okay, I, where are the item rooms? What is this? Come on! Alright, we found the secret, super secret, secret room. Or not, actually, just a normal, normal secret room. Oh my god, these guys are gonna kill me. Oh, why are they taking so many hits? Good god, there we go. Alright, let's use this. Please be hearts. Please be hearts. Please be hearts. No, greed! Ah, I'm just running. I hate greed. Greed always gets a hit or two on me. And that would kill me. Oh, what is this? What is this? 
Larry in a room by himself in Necropolis? This one? Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, well, that was Samson. Not that good of a run at all. Definitely not. That was that we were not getting lucky. We had two curse labyrinths, a lot of damage ups, even though we had blood loss. Ah. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed. So that was Samson. Uh, we'll do a different character next episode. Um. Yeah. So or, yeah, the next night. So that was night two. Uh, we have five more nights to go. And uh, yeah. So thumbs up, thumb, <laughs> thumbs up the video if you like the series. And um, we'll be back with more Binding of Isaac next time. But until then, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I will see you all later.